maybe just talking to myself specifically, is find a problem that it'll take my entire lifetime to solve. And if I don't solve it during my lifetime, it'll be okay. <laughs> Welcome to another post-workout chat. I was listening to a podcast as usual. Uh, Ryan Pineda is the wealthy way. He was interviewing Jack, Sh- <clears throat> Jack S- Selby. Co-host for Graham Stephens' Ice Coffee Hour. That's what it is. They were talking about religion, and I think they were just debating, like, the what's the point about being wealthy? And I want to share my thoughts. <clears throat> I felt like Jack was trying to just defy Christianity, but also... Just being a pessimist. But that's just my point of view because I, I, actually, I, I actually understand where he's coming from because you're just questioning reality. Um, but Ryan Panda was just saying like in, in all forms of humanity, we search for status. And I relate that to real estate. Me being a loan officer, I think about you should buy, you should buy real estate because it's an appreciating asset. It'll help you build wealth. Like to me, the only ways to build wealth is having business, ownership of a business or real estate. But that's also another form of having a business because the way you make real estate an asset is if you rent it out to somebody and that the form of renting something out to somebody is technically a business because you have to maintain the asset. (laughs) But sorry, I'm I'm out of breath because of leg day. But uh, I don't know. It's just kind of just rubs me the wrong way whenever I hear someone being a pessimist. And that's just me being honest. I think of take everything with a grain of salt, but learn. It reminds me another quote. Education is just self-education and figuring out the best way to serve the world with that new information. And if you're asking questions or trying to clarify a thought or a theory, you should question it. I'm not going to say you should. I believe or I try to question it in a way that affects my life so I can better myself, so I could be a better person or leader when it comes to trying to clarify my thoughts to other people, because it's, I can only explain the ways that I see life. And then like growing up to me, not being wealthy, I think of everybody's playing different games, right? Like if I think of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, your, your base foundation is food, water, shelter, sex. And I feel like a lot of people are just on that basic foundation. And it was not only until I broke six figures was then I felt like I leveled up. Because it took me 29 years to move out of my parents' place. So, like... In, in data points, previous years, or for the past like two decades, the average homeowner, average homeowner age is around 33 years old. But projection with new price points, the new average age for a homeowner or first time homeowner will be 47. Just because it'll take that much more time to build up the down payment, the closing costs, just to do so. So this is really the change of guards of wealth. That's what I think. So until you can satisfy having food, water, shelter, sex, and I think a lot of people are now just becoming more and more pessimists of not finding their their soulmate, their partner, or whatever. And I see it. And and finding a partner, like it's taking me years to understand this or make me think this way. 
it's more just about loyalty. It's not there's necessarily like characteristics because you can build upon it together. <sighs> and I think when you when you're when you're a good communicator, you can delegate and you can learn, you can learn how to progress. And as a partner, you should be able to communicate that and figure out a way together. Because I think, as we all know, no one's perfect. And literally, no one is perfect. But I believe there's a perfect unity. And there are multiple perfect unities. It just depends if the two entities can work well together. <clears throat> and it just made me think about school, where it's like, if I knew... If I knew what I needed to know, or if I knew I was going to end up in high school when I was five years old in kindergarten, I would have tried to learn the harder things earlier. Or like by the time I was in fifth grade, I would learn uh, chemistry, <clears throat> biology, the stuff that I was learning in high school. Like those middle school years feel like in hindsight could have been a waste, but there's levels to life where I needed to learn those foundations, it, it depends on your speed of acquisition of knowledge to get you to the next level. But if you, if you know what you're going to get into, you would start learning quicker because now you're more motivated to do so. And which is also why when it comes to building wealth, in my head, you have to think 10, 20, 30 years into the future and in my head, I think of, <clears throat> what do I want to be doing when I'm 50? Like, I can see a lot of the people that I look up to, maybe my parents, um, my mentors or teachers of my past, they're in their 50s, getting into their 60s now, and they're still working. I, don't, I personally don't want to do that, or unless I really love it. Like, my mom could have retired maybe like five years ago, but she went back home, tried to figure out what to do with her life after not working in America, and she came back because she was bored. She literally said she was bored. And that's kind of that realization of just like enjoying the present, enjoying the process, and really just... Continue to progress. And if anything that I could get take away or any idea that I could give away right now, maybe just talking to myself specifically, is find a problem that it'll take my entire lifetime to solve. And if I don't solve it during my lifetime, it'll be okay because I did my best. I tried, really. And my efforts make sense to me. That's all for today.